Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for October 10th through 16th. Hope you're amazing. So we're going to jump right into your reading Virgo. We're going to do general energy and then um, <laughs> love center here and money and career here. Okay, so Virgo, your first card is your eternal spirit. Mm -hmm. Intuition. Spirit mentors and teachers. Oh, this week there's somebody in your life that's teaching you a lesson. Um, it's it's <laughs> it's a valuable lesson, but I feel like it's a hard one, right? Um, I feel like it impedes on sort of what you believe or how you thought things should go. Okay, um, so you're having a hard time between like. You're having a hard time between your boundaries and like what your heart wants almost. Okay. 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 So we start off with the star here. The three of wands and the ten of swords. Yeah, this is dreams. You have dreams and aspirations. And I feel like these dreams and aspirations have been healing you. It's kind of like your your rules for living life and how you do things and how things have been. And to you, it feels like they've been working. You know, uh, they've been healing you. They've been helping you balance or keep your emotions distant almost. Uh, I feel like you're not allowing yourself. We're about to go down the rabbit hole. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that now, Virgo. I feel like you haven't been allowing yourself to really deep dive in your emotions and out of fear of like breaking or exposing yourself too much or being vulnerable. Um, that's what I see. And I feel like it's because of this ten of swords. You know, it's like you're on the end of a of healing, um, but it involves you opening up somehow. Or it involves you breaking down or being vulnerable. And I feel like you are trying to stop that from happening. And there's opportunity for you to go past that, to walk past that. Um, and it, it's actually an opportunity to grow. But it's like you have to allow yourself to be open and vulnerable to this next phase or kind of what's coming towards you. Yeah. You're afraid of being sad. That's what it is. You know, you're afraid of being sad. You're afraid that things won't work. You're afraid of sort of being out of control of a situation is what it looks like. Uh, this is emotionally based for you. OK, so let's see what your love life has, Virgo. OK, we have Ascendant Masters and we have Elementals. OK. I'm trying to generalize this. Give me a second. So I feel like your heart is set on a person. Okay. This I the idea of a person or a specific person themselves. Um, I feel like there are pieces that you have in this relationship. Like uh, this person is a really good conversationalist. Or this person um, you like being around or like they have pieces that you like about them. And then there are pieces that you don't. But and it's not that you don't like them. There are pieces that you would have to be vulnerable or open yourself up to explore like um, emotions. Um, leave yourself vulnerable to be broken if things were to go wrong. And I feel like you, it's almost like you either don't trust this person for that or you're not ready for something like that, okay? So then we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Judgment. That's going to be in the upright. I'm reading all in the upright for right now, okay? 
Yeah. You're trying to keep yourself safe. You know, you're trying to make really good decisions and think about your future. Um, and this involves kind of doing the same things that you've been doing and not leaving yourself vulnerable, not opening up to anything new. I feel like you are opening yourself up, but in a safe way, because pentacles are about, you know, safety in a way. OK. But you're being <laughs> you're being called to actually come out of that. OK, you're being called to make some sort of changes or to see this in a way um, that you have. It's it's weird, though, Virgo, because I feel like you have the right blueprint, but it's like you need to stray a little bit from that blueprint right now. I feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with is very confusing. They're very idealistic. Like they might not have every. I feel like this person doesn't have everything together. I really don't. Right. But I also feel like they're a trigger to you opening up your emotions. I do feel like this person can hurt you, though. I'm going to say this. I don't feel like they're emotionally stable enough to be extremely vulnerable with. And that is something that you need to see with these two cards, that this person is emotionally unstable or may hurt you. They have the they have the potential to hurt you or to do something that's going to hurt your feelings when you're in a situation where you don't want your feelings hurt. OK, but. But it is important for you to open up yourself um, to get out of that kind of stuck energy you know I feel like you're trying to keep things simple or have things make some sort of sense but there is there's like a potential for growth in in the emotional vulnerability I don't know how else to explain that yeah <laughs> So you got to speak up to get what it is that you want. That's what this card is about, right? Um, so if you want love, you want emotional connection, sometimes you have to leave yourself open to that. You may not get it at this moment, um, but you're putting yourself on the right path to get it, okay? It's not on a timeline, I want to say to you as well, Virgo. It's one of those things where you have to just let it happen. You have to let things unfold, but you need to at least make yourself at least vulnerable enough to have the opportunity for it. Okay. okay. So money and career. We have deserving. Beautiful. You have opportunities for success at your fingertip and sensitivity and strength. Okay. Um, yeah, this is about taking risks. Open yourself up to new opportunities and not sticking with the same old energy for you, okay? Because it's about moving forward. It's about seeing all the things that you can accomplish and what you can do if you sort of believe in yourself, okay? Ooh, three major arcana. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like you understand, Virgo, that you have a lot of potential. You have a lot of talents, skills inside of you. You have a lot of potential. That's what it is, potential. Uh, I feel like there are things that you want to do or things that you want to make happen, but you kind of keep it a secret because it doesn't feel like it's going to be stable enough or lucrative enough. But this is just fear holding you back, okay? It's just fear, fear of failure, fear of things going wrong, fear of... You know, like what will other people say or fear of instability. OK, but I do feel like you need to start acknowledging that you have these secret talents or secret skills. So it's like you need to speak them into existence, like do do something new. Um, do something new. Speak something into existence. Make something happen. Step out of a comfort zone. Yeah, because I feel like your emotions are tricking you into thinking that things are going to be bad. You know, it's like making a mountain out of a molehill. 
it's fear. It's fear really that's holding you back. Um, it's emotions. There are emotions that are holding you back. They're tricking you. You know, like your emotions are tricking you into thinking that things aren't going to work out. But they will. It's like it's time to tap into that little part of you that's trying to communicate with the world. Okay. Well, Virgo, <laughs> thank you for being here. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.